In the wild, rotifers eat detritus, dead bacteria, algae, and protozoans. These little ones are an excellent medium for getting hoofas into your baby fish when working on breeding projects. Lots of small reef fish and corals can snack on them as well. They can also serve as a microscopic cleanup crew in addition to a snack. The main types that I have personally cultured and fed to our baby fish when we had our aquaculture facility were the S-type and the L-type. We would start our baby seahorses on baby brine shrimp. From there, we would graduate them to the S-type rotifers, next L-type rotifers, then copepods, and then train them to eat frozen mysis shrimp. So do you need rotifers for your aquarium or nah? Having a healthy population of rotifers is great as long as you have something that will eat them and that will keep their population numbers in check. Just like copepods, they will feed on detritus in your aquarium. So I would say only reef tanks with a decent amount of small reef fish that will consume them. Otherwise, nah. If you are breeding fish, then they are absolutely essential. You can learn how to culture these at home with our online course. I will leave a link to the course in this video's description.